Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am here to share with you the January the 16th creative prompts. If you haven't been following along the whole time, know that you can go back and watch the other videos. I have a playlist that is for the creative prompts, so you can click on that and you can go through all of the videos that I have available. Do check down below in the description box for links to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group and the event where you can take photos of your journal pages and share your take on that journal prop with us. It's a great way to inspire others and of course a great way for you to go and look at what other people have done and hopefully you'll be inspired as well. The prompts were created by Robin Finnessy. She is one of the administrators of my group, the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, and we discussed it, and I ended up saying, okay, yes, I will execute the journal prompts. So it's a lot of work. I hope you're enjoying these. Today, we are to do, choose the following. The color red is a bold color. Use the color red today for your journal page. When done, write about something you did that you felt was a bold move in either your personal, business, or work life. So let's journal on this page as well as add some red to it. I am using a journal that I made. I do have a tutorial on how I made the journal. This particular page that I have come to in the journal is a digital print from the Radiant Red Creative Rainbow Kit. It is available in my shop. The images here were digitally altered by Calico Collage Norella. She took my hand-painted flowers and collage those into elements for the journal kit that I have available. I have chosen one of the tags that is in the kit where she's gone in and added these uh, butterflies, I think they're butterflies, maybe moths, on top of a gel print. And then I've got a ticket that's from the kit. I hand painted the flower and then she made a background for it and added all these great elements. So here's what I've got. I've got a tag that I thought would be cute to go in a tuck spot. I've got a piece of craft paper, a piece of red paper. These were scraps, and then of course the ticket. And I think what I wanna do is right off the bat with this red, I'm gonna round the corner. So I'm just gonna use the quarter inch round or from the We Are Memory Makers Cropodile. You know, if you don't have a quarter rounder, you could manually just cut it with a pair of scissors. If you have some other punches available to you, you could use those as well. All right, so I've just rounded that edge. I'm going to take some Walnut Stain Distress Ink, and I'm going to add that to the edges. I'm just looking at this as I layer it together. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this outer area. I think for now, I'm going to add some Distress Inks, and I'll ponder what else I want to do to it. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and glue these two together. And then I have a rubber stamp I want to use around the edges. I've got Archival Ink Jet Black, and I've got one of the textured edges here. It kind of reminds me of Damask. It's kind of distressed, and I think what I'm going to do is just stamp that all the way around. I'm going to go all the way to the edge and a little bit off and stamp. So it should give us a nice, neat border all the way around. I kind of like the way that looks. I'm going to layer the ticket right down the middle, so I'm just going to glue those together. And then I'm going to glue this down in the corner here. So I'm just going to put glue on two sides on the back of this. All right, so this tag is going to go in that pocket or tuck spot once I'm done journaling. So now I'm going to journal about something bold in my life, and then I'll come back. All right, so for my prompt here, it says, Use the color red, then tell about something bold you did in your life. My bold move was to quit working my job of 23 and a half years and go to work with my husband, who then decided after my prompting to sell the business so that we both could move to a new career. It was scary leaving a job of 23 and a half years, but it was the best decision for me and for Henry. We are now doing something we love. Sure, we miss the money we used to make, but we are now much happier now. Do what you love and be happy. So I hope that encourages you that 
You know, money isn't everything. Do what you love. And in my opinion, God will provide. He will find a way. And we've survived so far. So hopefully, as you are watching this and supporting me with your thumbs up and sharing this video, that it will continue to help keep me home where I can share my creative side with you. So I'm just going to put this tag in here, mainly just for decoration. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Again, do what you love. And don't worry about all those little things because a lot of it isn't that important. All right, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Thanks again for watching. Bye.